All right, the top two teams in the conference are facing off FAU, Coastal Carolina, top 20 matchup, number 20, FAU is coming into town. We got lots of recruits coming out, mainly on defense. This is going to be a tough matchup. We are both undefeated in conference play. Both ranked, we're there number 20, we're ranked number 4. So, this should be a really good matchup. They've got a great halfback. He's 92 overall, so that's going to be really tough. But, we got a great quarterback and a great wide receiver. Let's see how it goes. Make sure to like and subscribe, guys. FAU, Coastal Carolina, coming at you. Prepare for the opening kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And he's going to come up with a sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. It's second down and a long way to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. Makes it out to about the 29. it to the senior the 10 he's all the way touchdown and he adds the extra points with a three play 74 yard drive and they add seven points to the scoreboard boy that is scoring in a hurry this offense looking more and more explosive Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. Good move. He's going to call for a fair catch. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. Denman's looking to have another big year, Kirk, and I mean a big year, because if he keeps working in the weight room and keeps working out like he has been, this could be one of the big years of all time for him. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. He's taken down at the 41-yard line. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. Open receiver, no good. Denman's the kind of guy that could end up with some national honors because right now he's leading the conference statistically. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick strike to the receiver. And down he goes. That's the 43. Good job here by the receiver. Look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in a defense, anticipating pass here. Looks to his receiver, first down. He's still going. They'll bring him down around the 26-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Gets it out quickly, and he's tackled around the 13-yard line. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play, and on first down, no less. First and 10, ball on the 13-yard line. The Owls now with their quarterback down to an injury, and they've got to find a way to get back in this game and get their heads back in the game without their leader. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Here's the eighth play of the series. Pays off. Touchdown. The 
the extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Crenshaw has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He sends this one deep. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held onto the football there. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball of the 22. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. And I think the quarterback that time didn't even see the linebacker. I think he was so focused downfield trying to read the safeties in the secondary that by the time he came to his receiver that was being guarded by the linebacker, I don't think he saw him. The linebacker made a good play to be able to knock that ball away. He really got a hold of that one. Spencer takes it to 33. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Pretty good job by the return man there. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. Boy, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the line. Makes it out to about the 36. Fred, remember the year that this guy had last year? Looking at him yesterday in practice, he looks bigger, he looks stronger, he looks faster. Look out this year. He's going to have a better year this year than he even had last year. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Second down and five. Ball on the 31-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. Now he's scrambling. He steps out at the 18. He rolls left. They bring the quarterback down. That'll make it It's third down, nine to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He gets hit out of bounds around the four-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They make the stop at the three-yard line. That's a game of one on the play. That brings them second and goal. They're at the three. Omaha. It's second down. Omaha. 26, Mike. 26, Mike. Right away, right away. And he's got the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. So a nine-play, 52-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Let's it go. 
Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Handoff inside. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. Here's the halfback on the screen. And they push him out right around the 30. Thompson is waiting for the snap. And he's taken down at the 35-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Going deep, lays it out there. Intercepted. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. First and 10. Ball on the 39. Hands it to the back. They bring him down in the backfield. The way the safety was playing up toward the line of scrimmage shows you what they think of the offense's passing game. Not a lot of respect for it. down right around the 32 yard line an exciting first quarter comes to an end 14 7 and we're ready for more football here in quarter number two they'll line up with five wide receivers quick throw Tackle around the 46-yard line. It was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. Booming kick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he is drilled at the 23-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. It's second and seven. Ball on their own 23. He gets to about the 34-yard line. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. Nice run, and he's brought down. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Strike and he drops it. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's scrambling, going deep. Makes the catch and he might take it. Has some daylight and a huge touchdown play. He makes the PAT. It was a five-play, 79-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
you think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Nice run up the middle. That's a D4. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line, second down. On the ground, left side. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. That's good for him. That makes it first and ten. Roger, Roger. 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 Complete. What a catch. And he's taken down around the 44-yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That brings him second and five. From the 39-yard line, it's second down. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. Johnson is the intended receiver on the play. That will make it for me. It's already noisy in here and now the defense pumping up the crowd. Gets it out in a hurry. This one will fall incomplete. It's fourth down and the offense is getting set to go for it. the screen here and the halfback's got it. He's tackled around the 32-yard line. That's good for a of seven yards. And this play is number eight on the drive. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down at the 18-yard line. From the 18 yard line, first down. He gets another carry. Decent run here, right side. Tenth play of the drive. ball carrier and down he goes at the 12-yard line so it's third down now and they're going to need about four fires quickly and he's got his receiver for the touchdown He hits the PAT. An 11 play, 75 yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown. Brought down at the 26 yard line. Morris has played so far, Kirk, in the first half. I don't think we're surprised, but he's been very, very impressive. He's been very impressive, and I think he's kind of in that zone. And, and you know, whether you're watching a basketball game and a shooter gets in a zone, or you're a baseball player and you're kind of one of those hitters that's just in a zone where the ball looks like it's a balloon coming in. You know, for a quarterback, when you get in the zone, it means you're just not thinking. Things are happening naturally. You don't have to sit there and worry about it. You play with a tremendous amount of confidence. And I think that's what we're seeing from him right now. I think he just has a lot of confidence in himself and his teammates and what they're trying to do right now as an offense. We've got a first and 10. Ball in the 42. Up the middle for a nice game. Tackles at the 41. A 
quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's pushed out of bounds at the 34-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Deep ball, laying it out there. No, incomplete. The defense had a chance here, Brad, to just end the drive. An interception there. They get the football back and a lot of momentum. Gets out to around the 18. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 18. Looks to the end zone. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A seven-play, 75-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. And it was really those long runs that really helped propel that drive. So our score, 28-14. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to... Throws out and a leaping interception by the corner. They'll bring him down at the 46. First and ten. Ball on the 46. Easy, 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 easy. Eagle! Eagle! And that one's incomplete. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He throws it. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Good looking play there. I think they did a great job up front here, allowing the quarterback enough time to look downfield and spot the open man. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25 yard line. Caught out of the open. And that sets them up for the first and goal. They make the stop at the one. That brings him second and goal. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Breaks one and score. And he adds the extra point. A five-play, 54-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play call on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Crenshaw gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Steps out of bounds around the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run, but they need to be careful of the play-action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. 
And that'll do it for the first half. Still plenty of football to be played. 35-14. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He sends this one deep. Knocked out of bounds at the 21. This offense has really seemingly been unstoppable. Should be interesting to see now if the defenses change things up as they try to stop these guys. Tackled after a decent pickup. From their own 26 yard line, second down. Tackle made at the 36. That's good for He's tackled in the open field. Call it a game three yards. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 39. He's going to try and scramble. Dangerous pass here, and it falls incomplete. Quick roll, almost intercepted. Here's the eighth play of the series. Throws a bullet over the middle. Tackle right around the 48-yard line. From their own 48-yard line. Second down. And they hit him in the backfield. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. This is the 10th play of this drive. Quick toss. And he's tackled right away. Well, that's a big play by the offense. And I got to tell you, as a defensive coordinator, and you're taking some chances and it's one thing to blitz and to get to the quarterback and everybody high fives and gets excited but if you blitz and you don't get home as they say which means hitting the quarterback you're leaving your defensive backs one on one in coverage and if you don't get to that quarterback and you're facing a talented quarterback like this man right here you're going to pay for it that makes sense here's the 12th play of the drive Gives it right side. Nice gain as he works the right side. They're about four yards away here on third down. And he's level at the 11 yard line. This is the 14th play of the drive. He fights forward to about the 10. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 10 yard line. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. 
this is the 16th play of the drive. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the runner. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the three-yard line. By 14, by 14. Run up. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A long 16-play, 79-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Morris's play so far in this football game, he's really the definition of just being a solid competitor every week. Yeah, I mean, you and I have been watching him, and just every week he has impressed us. And then to be able to sit down and talk with him, I think that's the thing that really I took away from our meeting is not just is this guy a talented player, but how competitive he is. And we've seen that again in this football game, just his competitive spirit leading this team and up to this point, just a flawless performance. That's a game of 10 on the play. That'll make it second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He's taken down around the 42-yard line. Seven yards. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 42. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. Great concentration to haul it in. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. Number 16 brings him down at the 40-yard line. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 40. Let's go! This one's going deep to the end zone. And he will score. He makes the PAT. So that's a five-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown's a result. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and burn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. At the 30. The 50. And they finally tackle him at the 47-yard line. Kirk, you look at the way this offense has played in the third quarter, I'm telling you. To be this consistent is pretty impressive. I think that's the thing that really stands out here is how consistent they have been, especially here in this second half. And I think it, it's really a, 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 a product of the offensive coordinator and the quarterback being on the same page. And this quarterback just playing with so much confidence. I think it's affecting the rest of this team. He makes the catch and has a first down. And the defense picks it up.
from the 24. First down. Hands off left, and he's brought down quickly. No gain on the play. That makes it second. Second and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. And down he goes, right around the 22-yard line. So it's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. We head to the fourth. 45-21. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. He goes out of bounds at the 38-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38. And he goes down quickly. Number 16 with the tackle at the 44-yard line. That'll make it second and four. There's a strike complete. And he's tackled at the 47-yard line. Makes the tackle at the 47-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 47. He's knocked out of bounds at the 42-yard line. Call it a gain of five yards. That makes it second and six. Throws it to the outside. You know, Brad, the defensive coordinator does a nice job with the coverage call here. Everybody's in position to be able to make the play. The only problem is they didn't intercept the football. That's something that uh, they got to be happy with the coverage, but not happy with the result. The crowd really a factor here, and the defense is urging them on. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Flat. Picks up about five yards on that hookup. That makes it fourth and inches. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. on the handoff and they're stopped short and they'll turn it over huge play for the defense both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead this defense has really got to step it up and make a stop and he's tackled after positive yardage second down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down Gains his way to the 40-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Check, check. Thunder, thunder. Going deep. 
deep, and he's got a man. And he's got it. He scores. What a play. And he adds the extra point. It was a quick three-play, 61-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Owls have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Five wide. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. The defense looking to make this crowd a factor. And he's hit before he could go anywhere. That'll bring up fourth and one. Spencer is back awaiting the punt. Oh, excellent punt. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. <laughs> this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receivers. Because, again, they put so much time into trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play call. Call it a game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on their own 35. Pitches in and he's got a lane. He's at midfield. He steps out at the 43. Throws complete and he's hit right away. Need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Roger. Here we go. He gets to about the 27-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. Wants to throw outside. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance, but that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. And they make the stop at the 17-yard line. An eight-play, 66-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Hey, hey. 
and he is drilled at the 23. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Under pressure. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Good open field tackle. Morris picks up about seven yards on the scramble. Just under two minutes in the game. He goes downtown. Tackle at about the 23-yard line. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. And he might want it all here and does. Doesn't get there. Bring him down at the 14 yard line. That's a deep on the play. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. He's under pressure. Well, they're not going to win it, but they're still playing hard out there. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Well, everybody said these guys could really get it done on offense, and they haven't disappointed us. Well, they've got it all. They've got coaches right now that are putting their players in a position to win. The players are out executing and have tremendous ability. And now they're going out and putting a lot of points on the board. It's been a terrific effort today. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. Throws out to the back and he can't hold on to it. He's on the run. Well, the stop made there late in the fourth quarter, but this game's been over almost since the beginning. And I think it's time for everybody to head to the locker room. Roger, Roger. Check, check, check. He chucks it downfield. That close to being intercepted. If they punted, they would have pushed them back pretty far. Now, by failing on fourth down, They've given a pretty decent field position. Not a great gamble by going for it. He gets rid of this one. From their own 39-yard line. Second down. Under heavy pressure. And he's sacked. They couldn't get him blocked up that time. We'll probably be hearing his name for some time to come because he's only in his first year on the field. And the defense exhorting the crowd here to make more noise. He's to the 40. Gets out to around the 45. That's the end of the Heisman candidate Justin Denman definitively got player of the game today with 110 touchdown, 110 yards and two touchdowns. If he had 110 touchdowns, this score might have been a little bit different. But again, it was a top 20 matchup, number 20 FAU losing to number four 
Coastal Carolina 59-28. This game wasn't even close. They came in having only one loss, and, well, we just gave them their second. Coastal Carolina is now 9-0 on the season. FAU 7-2. and So we are pushing ourselves even further to having a fourth straight national championship opportunity. Can we go 3-1 and one for the national championship as a head coach? Can I go 2-1 and one as a net for the national championship? Keep watching. Find out. Like and subscribe.